All right, I'm going to show you guys how to get a Pelican um, site generator up and running. It's like Jekyll, which is built in Ruby, but Pelican is built in Python. So um, what it does is it takes Markdown and formats it into HTML and builds a static HTML site out of a bunch of posts. So um, here I'll show you mine. Open with Firefox. Alright, so this is the site I generated with Pelican. All it is is a bunch of markdown documents. It has um, all my posts from my WordPress site and uh, still need to do some formatting on that. But it compiles all this from markdown. And it's really easy. It's lightweight. My WordPress site loads in three seconds. This site here loads in 600 milliseconds. So the first thing we need to do is sudo easy install pelican. All right, I'm not going to do this because I've already installed it. But after you run that, then you want to sudo easy install markdown with a capital M. And this will be so we can use markdown um, instead of restructured text that it uses by default. Alright, so once you have both of those installed, um, we'll have a new folder. We need to have a templates directory, a content directory, and a settings file. So let's first start our settings file. So vim settings.py. And in here we need a path variable that will be equal to content we need our author and that will be equal to our name so um, we need a site name and that's equal to whatever you want the site to be my site Okay, and now we need to give it a site URL. And then whatever your URL is. Crap. Okay. got that all right so this we can uh, have some social links so I'm just going to copy and paste this in the last part all right so we'll write that so what we have here is content and this is a directory or author which is your name your site name your site URL and then if you want your Twitter and GitHub on here, you have both of those and what time zone you're in. So we'll quit that. We ls, we have our settings file. Now we need a new directory called content. And we need a new directory called theme. And this is the theme that we're going to use. And we're just going to use one from uh, the Pelican uh, repos. So here's the actual pelican repo if we hit their name and then go to pelican themes there's many different themes you can choose from we're gonna use this not my idea CMS and um, I already have that theme loaded so um, we go into our theme directory directory we just made um, development code, third party, and we want Pelican themes, and we want not my idea, and we'll just copy this static and templates folder into it, All right? So we have our settings, theme, and then an empty content directory, okay? Let's hop back into terminal here, and let's cd into content, and we have nothing in here. Let's make a new directory and we'll just call this um, dev for a development post 
and let's make another directory and call it um, just chat whatever we want to talk about okay so now let's make some posts so vim dev and then we'll have our first one as uh, my favorite lang dot md for markdown you need to have the dot md uh, extension so first off we need a header and the header first very first line we need the date so year month day second line is our title and we'll just say it again my favorite language okay and now we can start making our post so if we if you're not familiar with markdown we can have a header so uh, uh, this is my favorite language okay so that's a header if we want a list we can do a star and then item one item two if we want to format some code we can do a tab or four spaces say this is some code and there's various others so we have that we'll right quit and now let's do one in chat and we'll just call this whatever dot md and we need our header here and our title will be whatever and this is whatever I want sorry for my ramblings in this okay so now that we have that we ls all of these we can see in our chat we have whatever md dev my favorite lang md all right so what if we just want to preview this markdown without building our site so here's a quick little tip if you say markdown and then we want dev my favorite lang and when you call this it just um, echoes out the contents of this file in markdown so if we we can take this and pipe it into a HTML file and then say and open and then test.html so what this does it pipes it into this test file and then we'll open it so we'll hit return and this generates it and opens this file for us and we can see our header our list and then this is some code it uh, you can't really see it now but uh, we will so now that we have that let's go back into here and CD out of this and we can see we have our theme directory our content directory and our settings so now let's generate our pelican site so we call pelican and then our first parameter is our content and then we need tack s and then our settings hit return and then that generates it for us and if we ls again we can see we have an output directory so let's open output and we can see it's generated this whole site for us right click and open this in firefox then we can see we've generated our whole new site so we have both our posts whatever my favorite language everything's formatted for us and it's quick and easy so and we have our uh, feeds my Twitter and github right so that's basically all you have to do to get pelican running with markdown and generate a site so um, yeah if you have any questions just post it I'll help you out